Hello and welcome, I'm MG Haggis and we're playing Snowrunner on the modded map region of Aussie Adventures. I am back in the Antarctic uh, and that's because we're going to do another couple of rescues. We're going to go after the Mark 38 Ank and also the Lodestar that we found. Now, quickly on the map, as you can see I'm definitely back at the garage. I thought we'd go a different route just to keep it a bit more interesting and do some more exploration. So we're going to... Well, the initial way we have been before to that point there but then we're going to go north over this bit that looks like a rock crawling area I hope the ank is not too big for it that's the only issue and then we're going to come around right over the proper north route until we come down to where the ank is and the trailer there's our wee trailer here for the task of living the quiet life. So, uh, where, do we, where do we leave the ank? Let's bring up the task so I can click on him. There he is down there. Okay. We need to cut across that one. Down. There. The lodestar is here. So we need to just follow that through there and pick up the lodestar. Then it's back. And I thought we'd go back also. Oop. Sorry, moving the map this way. Because you just don't know there appears to be hidden tasks. So you might find something and then it'll be along this way again. And if this way was quite interesting, I might cut north there and go back round. But I'll leave that waypoint there, because that's where I'll have to make the decision. So, oh, he's gone back to sleep. Well, we'll leave him sleeping for a second, because I would like to welcome yet another new subscriber. Yeah, it is Superman Briar one Thank you so much for subscribing. Greatly appreciate it. Um, okay, with that all done, I think we should get on the move. This thing proved so good, I just wanted to use it again. And I think it is such a capable truck that anything else would be like, oh, I'm really going to struggle. Well, maybe. But the question should be, do I actually go back along the shore road as opposed to through this mud? Oh, we'll go through the mud because it is good. Don't want to make it too easy. Um... Do I grab that? No, let's leave that fuel again. The guy who's wanting a quiet life, he's got fuel for a while, I think. It would have been a handy trailer to have there. I mean, it's technically ours to use, but because I'd already taken one down to where the GMC was, I don't really need another one there at the moment. Definitely, definitely a lot easier with the narrower tyres and not pulling a truck. Oh, there's the rain on though. Just to add to the mud. That's okay. We're not concerned. Not in this truck, we're not. Certainly having some of the biggest tires in the game is an absolute asset for this kind of terrain. Doesn't even bother it in the slightest. Left. I mean, I might take a little bit of damage, especially going in high ratio now. The front drops down into a little ditch or something. Zooming along. Oh, okay, right, hold on a sec. Let's sit in the mud for a while. Let's double check. So we are not crossing over to there, really. 
We're heading for that point there. Okay, let's carry on in the mud. Here we go. We see we'll be going up there then up in the distant rock cliff face. Could be interesting. And it may well only be suitable for something small like a scout. These rocks are absolutely nothing to this guy. Okay, a little bit of a front end damage, but that's okay. Back to all this raises suspension. Better than that earlier. This is where I'll get caught out and end up tipping over on my side. Because I'm just getting too confident, too cocky with this. I'd rather not have to send out a rescue party to get this guy back up and about. He's got the autonomous winch, so again, having trees about, and there's plenty of them on this map, it shouldn't be a problem. But, knowing my like, I'll tip over where there's no trees. Up we go. What have we got here? Come on, up you get it. Gonna be a good view from up here, that's for sure. Look at that ground clearance, not a problem. I'll go slightly off to the left here. Oh, maybe not. Let's go to the other left. Looks like we're getting towards the top. Let's have a look at the view. Oh, yeah. Very nice indeed. And then, just like in real life, they managed to put great big pylons right through the beautiful terrain. I'm not a fan of big pylons. I know they're necessary, kind of, or they used to be. But I do kind of wish they'd put everything underground. Okay, this is this is good. I think even a little scout might struggle unless you've got some super high rock crawling suspension. There's a few trees about. But there's also areas where you might end up in trouble. There's not a tree you can winch to. Yep. Here we go. Oh, okay, that's good, and I now know that, that this route is passable. We're going off there now. Okay. Is that a road? That does look like a road going down. I just see something there. There's a wee caravan. That'll be that caravan there, is it? Yeah, must be. Okay, well, we didn't find anything of any note, so it's just another route. That's okay. Slow it down. Easy over the rocks. Can I go straight on there, actually? I'll just take a wee bit of a detour. So, back up the other side. the boss not a problem go 
This kind of terrain actually does make me want to get one of those proper mods that is designed for rock crawling. I mean, they go up some seriously crazy routes in real life. And this would probably be just classed as a warm-up for them. Not even. But it does look fun. I'll have to do it for real. Do we... Are we antenna, are we transmitter up there? This thing has got a surprisingly good centre of gravity considering it does feel rather tall. It's a double cab thing. Ooh, I hope we can get through here. Go for so I can see what I'm doing, kind of. The rocks. Open over. Just this way. Back again. Come on. Up. And Whoop. Let's see where I'm going. That's the... Was on a rock slide. Nice. The muddy sections is a piece of cake, we know that for sure. I find that the gearbox in this, whichever one I've picked, I think it is the passes the fine tune. Is a good gearbox in the ratios that we've got. Like, low ratio here, just the moment, is really perfect. It's like... I wouldn't want to go any faster in the highest of the low ratios. Which gives me the options of slowing it down to this one. If it just needs to come down a little bit... It's just spot on. And obviously, I can, I can use my shift button and I can go anywhere in between as well. Fine tune at its best. What are we? What are we seeing? Anything around here? I have kind of not been looking at the terrain. Can't be far from our little trailer for the quiet life. Oh, and me, I've probably already passed it, to be honest. I know, this could be the job. There it is, I can see it through the trees. Okay, we ain't got far to go. Unfortunately, we don't get to take that trailer any closer because we're not crossing that river yet. And what I think we'll do is, having already had the GMC on the back of this and it was rather large, even though it did pack, excuse me, and it, and it worked really well. I might just put the load star on the back and tow the ank. Oh, 
through the trees. This is almost um, one of those trucks that you don't feel that you're going to be under much duress doing it. It's really good. I mean, I'll need to go back and I can't remember how I... Well, when I kitted it out with a towing ramp, I don't remember how many other decent add-ons there was for it because it might be a little bit limiting in that respect, so you can't use it for everything. But because it's the mod one, it might even come with... The saddles, I don't think it would be a high saddle possibly, but the low one would seem awfully high up in the air. So, I don't know. It might be it's restricting or limitations with the options, I can't... This is the bottom line. Let's go and try and... L oh no, he's okay, he's coming around. You good? Right, off we go to the load star. He... Has he got... Working suspension. Better check. Hold on. Oh. Okay. Yeah, he could do with a little bit of love. We'll give him two tyres and some suspension. That all we've got. Oh, no, we've got another four. Yeah. Oh, that's much better. Yeah. Not so fussed about the load star because he's going up onto the towing ramp. He might struggle to get up with everything being broken on him. But we'll worry about that when we get to him. I've got enough repair points, I believe, to maybe even just repair his suspension, which will help a little bit probably. Make it around those trees, no problem. Good. He's winched a little bit closer because I've managed to keep the ramp up. I remember this hill. Maybe he's there. Okay. Um. Right. Release the winch. In fact, no. I'm going to push him back a wee bit. Back it up. Go on. Okay, now, um, have I got any more room to play with? I can go into the woods that way, I suppose. Let's try there, or thereabouts at least. Just to try and get a little bit more level with the ground. Not optimistic at that angle either, but we'll give it a go. It's definitely as low as it can go. Let's get out of the trees. Better angle. Okay, uh, this might be dodgy. Did it go up? Oh, he is going up. Good. Right. Hey. Going up nicely. Right. Stay there. Stay there. Which is the best of the winch points? That one there. This side now. They're desperate to go off to this side, aren't you?
Okay. We we'll maybe use this one at the front. There he goes. That's a bit better. Pop, oh, sliding about. Up you get. Look at the back end sliding around. <gasps> He's going to fall off. Stop! Stop, stop, stop. Ah, you're right, okay. Hmm, that's not good. Okay, I am at a bit of angle. I understand that. I need to kind of reposition a bit. So gonna fall off. He's got, or is he up against a tree and he can't fall off any further? Maybe quite handy. Okay, how do I do this now? Oh no! I was trying to push him up against the tree, but that didn't work either. Right, off you get. Is that me quite level. Not much better, but it is better. Need that one. Okay. Where's my front one? Determined not to go up straight. Maybe I should have fixed his tyres. Back ends like he's really not comfortable going up straight. Again, and I can't get to a back winch point to pull him back around again. You know what? I might just take that. Back him. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. It's not pretty. But it works. Let me get back out in front of this ank. Funny ank, I know it. I'm scraping all the paint off you. And we're off. Back up the hill. Yeah. Everything is looking not too bad. Easy down the hill again. Okay, good. And now the question is, do we find that other route back? Get onto the better terrain and then we'll check the map again, maybe at the top of that hill. the sun was in the same position last time they were doing this. Evening is drawing back in again. Okay, there, Ank. 
a little bit closer. Come on. That's that tree. Let's have a look at the map. So what we were going to do is continue to this junction here and go north to that point there. That is definitely passable, but having done it now with it, it was absolutely piece of cake. We'll just come back the quick way. So I'll keep you with me round the, this way for sure, and I might end up doing a little jump cut for the, the home section. Okay, it depends. We'll see. We'll see how we're getting on. The let's play. You get to see what I'm doing for most of it, unless it's a re total repeat. Or dead boring. Pesky pylons. We do have another yard that we know is out there that's needing a recovery, but I'm thinking I'll just use a different truck for that. I'll mix it up a little bit. I can't use this thing for everything. But to keep it a little bit more interesting and possibly more of a challenge. Uh oh. Thinking is the oh he has. <laughs> He's doing tricks. I don't know where the um I don't know where the Kodiak was doing his tricks as well. Except he took some serious damage. Am I up against anything here? My stuff on, I can't even move forward. Okay, guess we're sleeping here for the night. Let's get it around to the daytime. Try and get this guy back onto his field. Or up into a tree, even. Go on. Under your wheel. He is determined not to go over whatever his nose is stuck up against. I can't quite tell. Let's try the front now. In the trees, I can't see where I'm going. Come on, Ang. Here we go. That's what we're at. Oh, you did get damage though. Off of something. Oh, there's that little muddy pool you've got to climb in and out of. <laughs> Turn. The ank's a little close to the back of that ramp. That's maybe what gave him the damage. Give it a clout. So this is the route we've not been yet. Keep going around, keep going around. This could be quite tight with trees though, so it could be a bit more of a challenge. You gonna make it round there? I, I don't think you are. No, you are not. Definitely not. Okay, back it up. Try that again. Missed them. I'll be nudged back. There we go. Are you falling over? Again. Naughty ank. Get on your heels. Right, okay. Okay, the challenge has begun. How do we do this? Maybe go through the trees a little bit. Bring the ank over. Yeah, maybe. Right, release the winch. 
and I need to get turned out destroying the ank or anything else. Not hopeful. That's a tough little section, that. Right. Pull them in close to the back. He's through, right? Release the winch, get some distance between us. Right. It'll probably mean he's going to try and wrap himself around another tree soon. Oh, yeah, probably this one right here. These two on the left. Man. Okay. Reel them back in again. Give me up. Need to switch to the other side. Follow me closely. Nice and wide. Yeah, see? Bit of planning there for the trees. Release them again. Release. Go, go forwards. And down the hill we go. Again, I, I mean, again, I'm not getting a chance to look around in case there's anything hidden in the trees or anything like that oh what have we got here just anything oh no just rock a tree kind of mud pit you'd expect to find a scout vehicle attempting a crossing and failing oh. in one mud one mud pit and straight into another. If you're into your scout vehicles, you're a little small, maybe your F750s or even smaller, this map would certainly be fun for you to get through, but I think you'll be using the winch a lot. Come on, wiggle your way up there. That's steep. Go on. I mean, I am pulling a heavy ank, so it's not surprising I'm struggling a little bit. Oh. What the damage was for. More mud. Glorious mud. Okay. Oh, this is a serious mud route, guys. If this is what you're into, I found your... Your euphoria? No, your utopia. That's the word. Even. Oh. Oh, 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 Anks having another moment. What are you doing? Really, Ank, can you not just... You're a army vehicle. You shouldn't be falling over like that. There you go. Any better now? Happy? Okay, let's go. I'm not sure if it's the winch is just too close and he hasn't got much room to control himself. Let's give him a bit more, actually. Right. 
What have we got? Okay. We're on to more rocks and stuff now. Okay. Well, that was fun. I think the Antarctic made it look a whole lot easier than it actually was. Around the tree. Are you going to go around the tree? Yeah, just. Oh, this is a bit we've been at before. Okay, I kind of recognise this drop. Now it's stay there. You almost get them up onto the ramp there. Right, let's have a look at the map. Okay, two more waypoints, and then we decide if we're going up over the top or just along the shorter route. In fact, you know what? We'll go we will go up and round. Because this bit we haven't seen, and also we could continue up over this. Bit we've not seen. And back into the garage. Ah, okay. Right. Straight ahead it is. Visor on that ink should catches the sunlight. Get up there fine. Okay, back to rock crawling. Sound good. You all right back there? Oh, careful now. Gotta take it dead slow, or I think the ankle point do one of two things, or both. One, just get totally trashed with the rocks, or two, bounce off a rock and put himself behind a tree, and then it's just going to be awkward to get him back out again. Yeah. Can he even get over that rock? Oh, I need to get up. Yeah. Nice, there's that wee caravan that we spotted earlier. Nice. Interesting view. I don't know if you go and do much fishing in there. Back to rock crawling of that cliff edge in the reverse motion. That'd be a good, um, like a trials competition. But not in something quite as capable as this. Ooh, what? Hang on, here. Um, a funny feeling. There's going to be more damage by the end of this. Right. Come on. Up you come. Just take it slow, it's probably not so bad. Hey, I need to go up to the right to go up over that. Come on. There we go. Climb up.
I am so impressed with this Antarctic. Good ink, nice claiming. Be careful here though. Drop the right heels down. There we go. Sneaky bits that, you know, probably a more standard truck. You end up tipped over there. Right, okay. Slow and steady, guys. Slow and steady. It's not a race. I'm sure probably most of you could do this a lot quicker. I just don't want to trash everything on the route back to the garage. Wanting something. Oh, here he comes. Ooh. On the rock. There we go. Oh, that feels precarious. really feel like it's wanting to go. Ooh. I'm just freewheeling. And it's working. Ah. Holding my breath there. My heart rate was up. So I thought if it starts to roll, is it going to end up down there somewhere? And that's not going to be good. Ever. That was fun, I enjoyed that. Yeah, last little section. And we're gonna get up there. Okay. Deployment. <laughs> He's climbed up there. Oh, okay. Back to more rocks falling, but not quite so severe. What a beautiful map this is. Well done, Remo. Top job, sir. I mean, to make it look authentic and now I've never unfortunately never been to Australia and certainly not out into the the wilds into the bush of Australia but it certainly does feel like this is authentic oh boy we've got to go over there are we we're going down into that oh boy I don't know which way to go left route or right route I think the left looks better but I'm kind of committed to the right Okay, back there, Hank. Don't push me. Right, okay, we're off. Definitely one of those maps. You just want to forget any tasks or mission. You just want to drive around. And there's not many maps that we've come across through the vanilla stuff. It makes you want to do that. Oh, sorry, that was tired. I don't want him to break his suspension, really, because then he'll just struggle even more over the rocks. Get the wide route there. 
Okay. Oh. Okay. No, 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 no. What are you... Are you just having a rest, are you? Really? What What are you doing? Back on your wheels. That's what you're supposed to be like. Right, okay. Look where I'm going again. I like this even more because we are actually having to tow the ank and it's you've got to keep checking on him make sure he's all right it'd be one of those challenges would be really good if you the task was you had to get him back without crewing too much damage you know a set limit or a percentage if you get him back with 50 percent or more damage you've got to do it again Kind of stuck in this lot. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Slow it down, slow it down, Ang. Slow it down. Oh, we're there. We are there. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, oh, no, no, no. oh. I was going to cut the corner in there, but. Can't see away. Oh, maybe in here, in here. See through. Yes, and another promotion to thirteen. Lucky for us. <clears throat> that was good. I really enjoyed that. So that was the ank is all in the way. That sure was a bad place to put it in the river. Still not sure how you got out. Good work out there. Rewards of 23,000 and 2,500. Nice. Thank you. And we have gained the ank. And now we just need to... Where are we dropping off this guy? Is it that one there? Let's release that winch. I don't take him over there. Lodestar. Get Lodestar back to the garage. And another... Well, we stayed 13 for long, didn't we? There. 14. Long way down. I'm not sure what hurts more, his wallet or his ego. Thanks for getting that mess cleaned up. To 20,000 and 3,000 XP. And another load star for our garage. Super awesome. Right, well, let's stick this one back in the garage. In fact, you know what? Let's go and grab that ankle while we're at it. And we'll take them both in. Can we reach? Come here. Come on. Here, boy. Stop, stop. That'll do. Right, okay. I need to unpack. There he goes. Change truck. He's still be in the box, and he is. Yeah, awesome. And another Lodestar. But we're going to sell the Lodestar, probably. And when we get the Yar in the future, we'll probably sell the Yar as well. Local maps. Ank. Very good. Totally kaput. Not anymore. Just a 200 fuel range. Ah, oh, fuel size, literage. And last but not least, that's the yard we'll be going after soonish. I need to figure out what we're going to do next. I enjoyed the exploring. In fact, while we're still in the map, so that was that route there. That was quite a challenge. I I enjoyed that a lot. But we have got lots and lots of little routes and all the south side still to do. Doesn't look quite so bad. Maybe this bit here is quite tricky if you see my mouse above my head. There. 
on this whole coastal side. Oh, we've got so much to do. And that's just this map. We've got, well, we've got one's fairly basic, but the other one, is it Tassie Trailing still to do? Awesome. Awesome. Oh, I need to go back into that. Yeah, uh, as of. And back in the garage for this. Retain. Now, we might swap out the Antarctic for something else, or we'll keep it if we can afford it. Yeah, 252,000. Yeah, we can maybe keep it if we need it for something else, and we'll look to get something to accompany it. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. Again, if you enjoyed it, please do leave a thumbs up and let me know that you enjoyed it. We'll see me again soon. Bye for now.